VolQuest.com compositional previews roll on. We're talking about the offensive line, arguably Tennessee's best unit on the whole when you look at not just depth but quality players. I mean, you've got, you know, two guys that are you know, pegged to be, you know, all SEC type players and Trey Smith and Cade Mays. You've got returning tackles and Wanya Morris and, and Darnell Wright, Kron Calvert, a, a center that's played a lot of ball in Brandon Kennedy, and then some quality guys like, you know, Jerome Carvin, Riley Locklear. I mean, Tennessee's got, you know, some players. Now they certainly do. And, and, you know, this is a program that when Jeremy Pruitt got here, they went to that first spring practice and they were putting walk-ons in their first five. Yeah, okay. they were. Uh, this is a program that didn't sign an offensive lineman in an entire recruiting 2012. class. 2012. Uh, this is a program that has struggled to, to find five linemen. They've really struggled to find seven or eight linemen who could play. Um, you know, there, there's six guys, always been a swing guy who could play multiple spots because they didn't have real quality depth. They have quality depth and that in turn gives them quality competition, which I think is good. Because you got a guy like Cade Mays who could play guard or he could play right tackle. So if Darnell Wright struggles, okay, if he's not in the shape he needs to be in or whatever the case may be, then maybe Darnell Wright is in a situation where he doesn't get the job. Maybe that's Cade Mays' job. You know, in looking at your best five, I think it'll be Darnell Wright. I think Cade Mays is best serve at right guard. But who knows how that shakes out? And the what and you have good options? thing you have that's options. a good thing that you don't know how it shakes out. Because too many years you went, he has to play here, and if he gets, if this guy gets hurt, player X gets hurt, they're in real trouble. You don't have that scenario right now, which is a great luxury for Will Friend and Jeremy Pruitt oh, and Jim Chaney. There's no doubt about it. I mean, how many years? You go back to 12, they didn't sign anybody. But then what? In 14, was that the Jack Jones year? You know, they had Jack Jones, Venzel Boulware, Drew Richmond, uh, Zach Stewart, and then there was one more, uh, Chance Hall. None of them finished their career. Right. So that means you had one year they didn't sign any, and then another year they signed five guys, and none of them got to be seniors. That's a, that's that's rough on a one position in a you know you know eight year span oh, to overcome. Yeah, rough is an understatement. The, the bottom line is. I don't know if this is the best offensive line in the SEC, as some people are touting. The point is it's still good. The point is this should be a really good offensive line in this SEC, which should give Jerry Garantano some comfort and protection. It should give the running game a lot of hope, okay? And it should give this offense a chance to be an effective offense and to be a good offense. Jim Cheney's going to tell you they got to be more physical. There are all those things that they need to be. And, and he's right. They're, they're still growing. But the point is – they're growing in the right direction with some really, really talented football players. And then you've got, you know, some guys that redshirted a year ago, like Chris Hock Perogane, Jackson Lampley. You've got Spragans and James Robinson that are coming in here as true freshmen. Who you know, don't have to play. Who don't have what to play luxury. and can grow. Right. Now, but you never know. So maybe somebody comes in and surprises. The, the, the beauty of that is, is there's no pressure on the young kid to have to come in and play right away. Right. And, and look, Wanya Moore should emerge in year two and be a, 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 get rid of some of the struggles he had and growing pains he had along the way should be much better. We believe we all believe Trey Smith's going to be a much better football player to start this year. He yeah. Had, he had rust. He had a knockoff last year. They should hit the ground running. Here's the other question, and this is one of Rob Lewis's favorite questions that we talk about every preseason. Are they going to cross-train all these people, or are they going to get their five and get their continuity going? They got a real opportunity to settle yeah, in on their five and get their continuity going open. I want to see how Jim Chaney, Will Friend handle that part of it. Are they going to mix and match for two or three weeks? Or are they going to say, all right, we'll look at it for a week and then here's our five and let's groom all these guys together. All right, options, talent, and depth. Three things Tennessee doesn't always have at that offensive line position.